Hello friends and welcome to episode 30 of the Evil Empire. I'm Iken and it's episode 30 finally. Man, time flies. Tyler is having a catatonic breakdown. Recoil got the first real prosthetic of Alpha 1, a reprocessor stomach, making him a little bit more happy, making him uh, get along with the problems Alpha 1 has. We melted human alive. Things happening here. A living person melted alive. Just melted it. Wait, wait, wait. We had a, we had a local slurry peat and I didn't know about that. Fun. All right, let's pick this, uh, let's pick this beauty up and see, um, if I can stabilize and tame it. Last episode I was thinking about needing more, um, slurry peats in general because I really consider them um, very very useful denizens of this uh, biome in general so the question now is uh, which one is it following recoil or Anya they're always having one target they're following but it's hard to tell which one it is so let's uh, let's do the test oh no we killed it poor thing what a waste. Well, can't change it. Sometimes I just have to live with it. Luckily, I have three of them. But I really would have liked to have a third, uh, a fourth one as a, as another tank. Oh, welcome back among us, Tyler. That was a short catatonic breakdown, but that's okay. He's still uh, getting over the loss of his son. And yeah, I understand that. The transition into uh, into a proper life in Alpha 1 is hard for most, that's okay. But at least I'm having uh, a colony size of 6 people and uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9 rats. It's a good start. One of them even has already a name. Good old Peter. Flush down the toilet. Alright. I think the next uh, few people that will land in the bioreactor will stay a little bit longer with Alpha 1 though because I really like um, the fact that with this mod I can use prisoners as uh, a power source. I was just quite cu curious about what it does when you're, um, when you're doing this with somebody. For science, you know, when when science has this button you can push, you're going to push it. So, I don't know, the psychic emitter, I'm really considering uh, trying to shut it down. It is not that far away, after all. Hmm. Alright, but first we need to um, calm down Anya, I guess. Alright, Lumpy has a 100% chance of uh, arresting her and good old Anya snapping out of it in the moment you uh, start arresting her. That's good. Alright. Just uh, fixed the missing sidearms on my colonists. And Lumpy went into a daze because he was imprisoned. Alright. There we go. Lumpy has been successfully calmed down. Wonderful. So after I finished my mining ops here, I want to have another uh, mining ops over here. And recoil goes into a tantrum. It's okay. They keep having their breakdowns. It's fine for me. Oh, Freeman is uh, so low on work that she's just uh, walking, um, following Recoil's uh, mental breakdown and uh, welding back the damage while it's getting inflicted. I really love it when it comes down to this. It's like uh, it's like uh, um, a therapeutic guidance <laughs> through his breakdown. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, man, this uh, process to get to um, prosthetics is really a pain. We're almost there, though. I mean, I'm right now producing my own components. 
quite happy with that, but soon I'm going to be able to produce my own plasteel too, and I think that's going to be one of the biggest uh, steps forward. Why are we out of power all of a sudden? That's usually not happening. I mean, little do I care. I have food piles uh, racked up like forever, but uh, looks like my whole power economy is uh, a little bit over over its uh, limits. So I think it's time to research geothermal power soon. Anya went into a shoot frenzy. Fine, fine. Lumpy doing the art. Wonderful. How good is he at this one uh, by now? Rank 12. So, well, let's see. Training of a cinderlisk. How boring. Bears an illustration of an empty evening gown. Alright. Fine. Well, art. Let's not debate it. Really gonna uh, replace the furniture in this um, room at some point, because the tin furniture won't last too long. I can already tell. So, Freeman is... a little bit... unoccupied lately. So I think I'm going to uh, set her onto tailoring duty here, because I feel like recoil is just not not getting to that job. And uh, let's give it free to any worker. There we go. So the time of great expansions is uh, over now, basically. Freeman is now uh, a Grandmaster Constructor, but I don't need her on that construction duty the whole time. And Recoil has some other jobs to do. So my idea would be just like, uh, I'm going to make it like that. Um, going to train Freeman primarily into the tailoring and Recoil is going to stay with the smithing jobs. This way I have a fair option to um, specialize them a bit. like the idea. Especially with these amounts of steel available, I really think it's a fine idea to do that. I'm really looking forward to the gun production in a larger scale. I mean, I'm quite happy with the uh, overall firepower of um, multiple bolt-action rifles. I really didn't expect that kind of firepower overall, so I just uh, came up with the idea that I want to have two more of those. And Tyler, yeah, okay, he's resting. Gonna bring up the research, yeah, the research, the smelting of bronze soon because I want to finish my my quest here. getting things done. I have so much food. Didn't expect to get so much food. And the psychic emitter drone is uh, switching again. So, well, let's get over there. I just want to get it done. And I'm going to send um, the expendables, basically. And they're going to ride on slurry peds. Wonderful. Oh, I'm experiencing the same weird lag here too. So let's see if it's... Uh, I have that on my Rimworld of Magic series too. Like, uh, there's... Uh, let's cancel that for a sec. Alright, let's form another caravan. Yeah, for some reason, once I add people into the caravan, things go crazy. Whatever, it's not that terrible because I'm not needing too many configurations. Anyways, alright. 
So that's what we're going to do. Travel time is 1.8 days. So I think I'm going to leave the slurry peeds at home. Oh, come on. Game, why are you doing this to me? Yeah, 1.2 days, way better. So it turns out the slurry peeds uh, are better left alone uh, at home. All right, let's send them over and see if I can destroy that site. I'm not gonna send anybody from the inner circle because I'm not willing to take that risk to lose somebody from them. But the other people here are, well, replaceable. Let's see. That psychic emitter is uh, starting to grow a little bit uh, annoying and I want to get rid of it for good. All right. Just hope I, they're not going to blow it up. All right. Meanwhile, I'm destroying finally all that patch leather. For some reason, uh, I feel like um, recoil didn't uh, get to the job often enough. So I'm, I'm having a crash site here. Well, crash sites are quite cool, but I recently started thinking about the downside of the mechanoid intrusion, which is uh, in lying in the um, rough travel times you're having here. It's uh, very, very interesting to see how hard it is to travel in this biome, because uh, it's always um, more difficult. And alpha biomes, if you're having something like like I have here with a gelatinous superorganism living next door, you're even having trouble um, to get next door. So these, these people here are heavily confined and restrained in their um, trade and interaction with the outside world. So I really like it. I, pi I pay a high price for my um, steel-only biome. Like, almost no wildlife, difficult uh, outside connections. It's pretty cool. I like that. All right, so... Um, let's uh, force Anya into the smelting duty. Wait a sec. Do I have uh, an unlimited ingredient radius? Okay. How foolish. Alright. Pretty sure we're almost there, yeah. So I'm going to let Anya off the hook and uh, wait for the combat site to pop up because I don't want uh, to fight a combat while Anya is uh, grinding, uh, smelting away and going crazy there. Okay, let's check it out. How is this uh, composed? Like uh, 22 guinea pigs. Um. If they go manhunting, we're gonna die. Honestly, it's uh, no joke. It sounds stupid, but uh... So, who's the fastest of these guys? 4.2? 3.8? 4 4.2. And how quick is a guinea pig? 5! Oh my god. So what we're going to do is quite silly, but uh, I can't change it. Yeah, so um, we're going to flee. I have zero chance in defeating uh, this amount of guinea pigs. But it destroyed the uh, psychic ground side. Okay, at least something. I didn't get the loot, but I get r got rid of the side. Thing is, without somebody with the power armor or a few slow repeats, they're all gonna die. It sounds stupid, but uh, I know how this works. The uh, guinea pigs are for sure doing sc scratches, and scratches bleed, and uh, in no time you're off. You're ending off with somebody bleeding out in three hours, bleeding out out of sixty wounds. 
You can't patch that up without a professional doctor and glitter world meds, and that's simply not worth it. So, uh, if I run into these situations, I prefer to have somebody with a power armor or like something like these animals power tank it and uh, throw some frag grenades or some something like that in it, or have some really powerful melee units which just uh, slam things down. You can't one shot guinea pigs with one blow, but I didn't have the opportunity here. Scariest guinea pigs ever. All right. I give them so much credit. They deserve it. Scariest guinea pigs ever. Huh. And Freeman is in sad wonder. So, well, turns out I don't have any material for Steelies apart from Adobe. Man, that's frustrating. And I can't accept that. That's simply not the right thing to do for my quest. So, I'm pretty surprised that in this biome I'm not running into any gemstone deposits. Like, as if the mod would have understood that only me metallic stuff can spawn here. I'm, I'm quite surprised. I, I really expected some gemstones to spawn in that biome. So I can't finish my, ge uh, my quest. Oh, diamond. There is gemstone here after all. Maybe I just got unlucky so far. Hm. Let's mine out some diamond. I don't think that I can build a diamond steely. That would be sick though. A diamond steely um, dedicated to the OG Rad Randy. I would like that. But I'm afraid the amount of uh, diamond in the mountain would be uh will be not sufficient for that kind of crazy project and another breakdown innocent prisoner died okay if you say he was innocent it must be like that wow those ratsos go pregnant like crazy i love it so um as soon as they start to grow too many, we're going to slaughter a few of them, of course. Only the unnamed. I'll only only slaughter unnamed rats. We're not cruel after all. Just efficient. I really um, try to pay attention to uh, the um, things these people do to um, to keep it efficient. I mean, it wasn't efficient to just kill, um, what was his name? <laughs> Peter. <laughs> it wasn't efficient to kill Peter. Yet still, I consider them also scientists, or, well, to some side, to some degree curious, as it is, um, necessary to learn. And they didn't, uh, ever melt somebody, so they had to melt somebody. And I can look at this place as often as I want to. Oh, there's some gemstones. So it's just, uh, just me being unlucky. Ah, there's more. Ha! I knew I was not looking hard enough. There we go. Finally. Gosh. Guys, get yourself together, please. <laughs> My god. I'm breaking down like crazy. Well, well, they are heroes after all. Are you guys kidding me? A mech cluster with an EMI dynamo? I really hate these new quests. I really despise them. So are you guys really saying that I'm getting a outside quest which forces me to take my people over to a mech cluster to get my electricity back? Really, I feel these quests are a tad bit too much. A tad bit too forced on me. I mean, we're gonna do it and we're gonna finish it somehow. But I don't like the this, uh, this motion these quests go. And the worst part about it is I, I checked out the scenario editor and you can turn off mechanoid clusters as a incident as such. But I'm not sure if this would A, turn off 
these incidents at all, and B, I can't turn off these quests, because these quests are the only thing I want to turn off. Look, sucks, I can't change it. I'm going to have a terrible hard time now getting over this, but well. If this is happening to you and you don't like it, um, and you're not um, as obsessed as I am with uh, going for a straight safe game, you can also alt a 4 in these situations with a commitment mode. Or just uh, save and load. The uh, game will re-roll the event then. Because I, I recommend this measure because I, I really don't like it that you can't turn it, turn this off. I think it should be uh, it should be able to turn it off because uh, I was uh, basically waiting for this uh, event to turn up where I get this one because this is hard. This is maybe the uh, most brutal quest to get forced upon you ever because uh, show me one colony not being pretty reliant on electricity and imagine this happening on your ice sheet run fun i don't know i feel like that's too much just my opinion feel free to leave me a comment about this because i really want to know how you guys see that because honestly i don't feel like i'm alone with that opinion but let's see um just waiting until Lumpy is out of his mental breakdown and then we're going to set off to a conquest to that uh, filthy EMI dynamo. So, um, well, maybe I can do this right away. I'm just, you know, well, there has to be somebody back home, I guess. Um, Rit, you're having a gun, okay. Just wanted to make sure she, uh, she has a gun after all. So, I'm definitely going to take uh, the slurry peats with me because I have no clue how to beat this uh, thing without them. Because we're going to fight mechanoids up front. This is basically the worst way to have to fight a mechanoid cluster. I, I lose access to mortars, I lose access to my base, I lose access to everything giving me safety. And I'm very, very unhappy about the fact that I'm not having any nukes. It's really gonna be. It's, um, well, we're going to see how we're we're going to through that. 2.2 days travel time. Wow. Brutal. That's brutal. So, um, going to up my. Uh, my resources a bit and just uh, pray and hope to survive this ordeal. Forced landing. Well, I think we have our own problems, friends, so uh, see you soon. Fabric's traitor from the Hato Alliance. We're off to turn on, to turn back on the electricity, friends. Oh man. I mean, I accidentally scummed away the other day that Smoke Spewer event. Well, guess I get my revenge now. But uh, overall, I don't know. I don't like it. Because uh, if you're living in a rough enough environment, this uh, can be a death sentence. Because there are bases which are not really able to uh, survive um, under these circumstances. Why is recoil not with them? Um, that's bad. We need recoil. He has the smoke launcher. Okay, let's go back home. Must have uh, snapped back out when I... Uh, when I have the lags. Pretty annoying. <laughs> pretty, pretty annoying. And the worst part about these quests is they are not even running out. This is never gonna turn run out. This is permanent now. 
I really don't like it. I really, really don't like it. Let's uh, just hope it's not going to be one of those clusters which uh, are able to destroy a ro whole run. I mean, I'm quite confident. I have EMP, I have smoke, I have tanks, I have a raid. Well, call that a, a good timing. They uh, just landed right next to my people here. Are these guys uh, immediate attackers or... Sappers, okay. Let's release the Menimils and just go. Sappers are having such a odd behavior like they're ignoring the fact that I'm attacking them here completely we need to get to the walls now we need to attack the rats now um Anya that's uh, the wrong weapon there we go all right that's the first of them guys downed Looks like the other party of sappers is uh, going down the hard way here. Ooh. Just wanted to have Anya and the kite. There we go. First party fleeing. Oh, look at that. A psychopath. A new, uh, a new pickup for the colony. Wonderful. So Lumpy, capture this man. Why is he down without, uh... Okay, he's peyote ad addicted. So these guys are, ah, of course, hap <laughs> happily wandering through here because I have no... <laughs> totally forgot about that. Gosh, how annoying. Like, seriously. Get that EMI dynamo away, away from me. It's so stupid. It's just so stupid. I really uh, dislike that event so hard. It's so bad. Alright, these guys are fleeing now too. Awesome. Alright, um, the best part about it is uh, I'm having um, these guys completely decimated without suffering a single scratch. Wonderful. So let's retry that with the caravan. All right, the slurry peats, the cinder lisk, and now recoil. We're only keeping at home Tyler. Okay, only Tyler. All right, now then, I have enough food Let's send these poor guys away. Okay. Tyler will stay at home and uh, just do what he has to do. He's going to destroy Tin Military Turret. All right. Off you go, Tyler. Bang. I hope you're feeling better now. You showed that turret who's boss for sure. Oof. All right. And Brit is uh, in days now. Oh my god, that's a caravan uh, forming process from hell. Ah, they're uh, they're ravenously hungry again. So they are uh, they were um, unable to eat because the fact that they were forming a caravan, the usual Rimworld chaos and shenanigans. So uh, yeah, looks like um, living. A little bit without electricity. Okay, I'm just so afraid it's going to be a nightmare, a, a nightmare cluster. I'm really co also considering to uh, minify the mortars and bring the shells. I'll do that. I'll just do that. It's 20 rounds of death available to my uh, safety, and after all, oh meteorite ore. Maybe I had all these uh, delays for a good reason. So my friends, we're going to have the next episode, the crazy, uh, the crazy 
adventure site out there and uh, as I said feel free to leave me a comment down below I hope I didn't sound too complaining about that we're going to play it out maybe it's going to be fun but um, my experiences with the clusters were like they are challenging even for an old dog like me and I'm playing this game pretty long now and I feel like it's okay that they're here it's okay that they're appearing but I feel like a forced side outside of my base influencing my base in a way that I can instantly die if I'm like uh, up here if they would shut down the electricity my whole base would freeze there are environments where it's 100% sure that you're only alive because you're having electricity or fire and fire is only possible with wood and wood is not attainable in icy environments naturally so just uh, to sum it up that's why i really dislike it because it can be absolutely devastating for your run even in a vanilla environment and that's why it's getting this vote from me i hope my video gets this vote from you and feel free to leave me a subscription down below whatever you do or don't have a great time and come back again i hope bye bye